As Germany's regions enter the last few defining months of negotiations over their new gambling laws, Gambling Compliance held a workshop here in London where leading law experts spoke to 100 delegates about the main issues facing gambling operators who are eyeing a slice of Europe's largest economy. If we look across the border, we can learn it from the French, from the Italians. The best to get rid of the pirates of the Caribbean from the German black market and to find it is um, an appropriate regulation, you need to regulate it, no liberalization but regulation, uh, appropriate taxation, the right to advertise your products because then the market will clear up itself and this keeps the pirates away because if you cannot advertise for your products, if there's enforcement against the others, the rest will benefit from a regulated market and of course this will generate the money, the revenues the state is looking after as well. Well I think they have two interests that might also fight against each other. One is the interest to just make money for their state and that is cle was clearly the reason for Schleswig-Holstein to go down that route. Um, the other thing is no politician really wants to actively fight for gambling uh, because it still has a certain taste. That's why to my personal understanding uh, they also opened, tried to open up the sports betting market but uh, rather left the casino market untouched. If you look at the recent judgments by the, uh, by the Federal Administrative Court and by the Federal Civil Court, um, you could say it's quite difficult to state that online games are actually possible at the moment. This, however, to my uh, feeling is going to change um, once the first Schleswig-Holstein licenses uh, will enter into force because then we will not have the consistency across all different states any longer but um, a very differentiated regime with Schleswig-Holstein allowing online games and all the other states not allowing online games. From a legal perspective um, if the principle will stay on and will be confirmed by the courts that uh, the, the location of the player actually counts in order to determine the competent authority and the competent state, then um, Schleswig-Holstein licenses will only allow operators to offer their services in Schleswig-Holstein, but not to residents in other states. On the other hand, of course, it really has a political dimension as well, and uh, therefore a lot of operators consider to apply for a Schleswig-Holstein license easy, even in order to um, use that such license for offering their services to residents outside of Schleswig-Holstein. License issued in Schleswig-Holstein will only be applicable and valid in Schleswig-Holstein. From the legal perspective it is not valid in the rest of Germany. But the way the, the, the law is drafted, operators may take uh, the view that they are entitled to accept stakes because it is not expressly permitted in the law. Uh, and if this is the case, they might challenge the provisions and end up in front of a court. The court proceedings will look at the prohibition of the other lenders. For a pro prohibition, you need a valid law. If this law is not applicable, like the old current interstate treaty, because it violates European Union law, we might have the same situation. But then there's no prohibition. Schleswig-Holstein will continue consolidating their model, maybe some slightly amendments, but um, they, will, well, they will issue the first licenses in March. Uh, because I don't think at the moment it is likely that the E15 lenders would come close enough to the model of Schleswig-Holstein that they could create an E16 model agreed by Schleswig-Holstein as well. In this case, the option will be that uh, the interstate treaty reduced the other 15 lenders will come into force somehow next year. I think it's more than likely that this will not happen prior to the first six or nine months or even afterwards. The heads of state do not only have to find an agreement on an interstate treaty and sign the interstate treaty, so have it in a really legalized form, but then also it has to be implemented in each particular state that has actually signed the document. and that take some time because it's an act of parliament and needs to run through the general legislation process and previous history has shown that it can take quite some time so I'd say maybe a year.